We all know why the charts look like this, even if you don't play Destiny 2 every day, or if you do. And what I usually do is I throw some personal opinions to piss people off or a specific player group. I will try to avoid doing this this time around though, don't worry. I will go and break down the different sections which are the meta, replayability, and difficulty. So let's just jump into the video, guys. But if you enjoy this video, I remember to join my Discord. So the meta has its PvP side and its PvE side. But for the PvP part, we usually get the worst end of the meta. Because we can't playtest anything and Bungie just throw out that looks good on paper. Even if it's horrendous to play against or with. There is abilities, which I feel like is the worst part of the meta. It doesn't feel playtested. And after the 3.0 subclass change it, it spins bad. Some good examples are Warlock Melee, Overshield Titan, Invisibility, Restoration, Volatile, Naka with Juggernaut. And on top of that, we get stupid exotics to pair with, like Laurely Splendor, Renewal Grass, Capri String, Omnicoculus, the Gyro Falcon, and either it takes a few seasons before they get nerfed or just stand untouched for the longest period of time, the weapon side of the PvP meta are stupid buffs that doesn't make sense, <coughs> side off. <coughs> but mostly just depends on what abilities that are met at the time. Of course, there are outliners like Lorenz, Arbalist, Forerunner, Dead Messenger, and get every gun an unnecessary nerf with the airborne effectiveness changes. But abilities are the biggest issue. On the PvE side, it doesn't really matter. Any gun with the right perk is good. And the only thing that really matters is what kills the most and what does the most damage. But still, abilities makes PvE super easy. Alright, enough of the mana, we all see the problem here, right? The replayability is something I always used to love about Destiny, but lately they feel like there's nothing to do. And not because there isn't, because there is. Because they are removing the replayability feeling from making good weapons easier to obtain, from weapon crafting, from removing secret missions, and time gating every quest in the game. It's like Bungie think we're watching an anime episode and one does the comeback every week on reset to watch the latest episode. But I think this is very tiring for people. I know personally, I want to experience the full experience. I'm a binger. If I get teased every week knowing there's nothing at the end, I lose the interest fast as fuck. Now, we still have to talk about the endgame content from GMs to master raids. And this is where it gets annoying. If I want to get the King's Fall title, I have to play 5 weeks in a row, and that's only if the Master version is out already. But for the other raids, it's time to get it to a specific week, so you can only do one run with all the challenges. But whenever a season comes out, if you want to do a GM, you have to do boring chores until you meet the required power level. I guess the power grind is its own thing, I don't even think Bungie likes how bad it is. And I don't even think any of the endgame activities are hard. Problem is, you just don't get anything out of it. If you want the best weapons from raids, just craft the normal version. The adept version are not worth it. Only adept weapons are worth from nightfalls and trials, but they are gated in some or other way. I still think Bungie can fix this. Personally, I wish for a de fresh Destiny 3 experience, but that's not gonna happen. In the current situation, Bungie keeps taking one step forward and two step backwards. Like, can you believe there's five raids that's been removed, three good secret missions, and the base game of the story are gone from the game. Just gone. This is the part where I'm gonna say what I want to see in the game. If Bungie ever gets open test servers for metas, for feedback, that would be a huge step forward. Harder content, more depth to weapon crafting, ability changes, at least give us an option to farm weapons that are not sunset, but are still not in a drop pool. And the same for mods. Season of Opulence was a great way to farm weapon of choice. But this is at least um, the way I look at things. If you disagree, that's fine. And I would love to hear your opinion. I'm not gonna lie. And even if I miss something to cover, just let me know. I love you guys. Keep up the grind. This can only get better. I hope.